So ladies and gentlemen, um, in this case, as Amir kind of pointed out, now I have a number that is not with the square root, and I have a number with the square root, right? So I'm dividing a number by a square root. The square root of 5 does not evenly divide this 12, right? Because the square root of 5 is an irrational number. Remember we talked about that? Right? The square root of 5, you cannot evenly take the square root, so that's an irrational number. We don't want to divide a whole number by an irrational number. So when it does not evenly divide into it, what we have to do is rationalize the denominator. So to rationalize the denominator, what we're going to do is we're going to undo dividing by a square number. So to do that, I'm going to multiply by the square root of 5 on the top and the bottom. Now, does that always work, or why can I do that? Let's look at the fraction 1 half. All right? If, let's say, I just want to multiply the fraction 1 half by 3 over 3, I now obtain 3 over 6. Is 1 half equal to 3 over 6? Is it? Yes. Yeah, so anytime, ladies and gentlemen, you take a fraction and you multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number, all you did is create an equivalent fraction. You didn't change it. You didn't change what the ratio is or the fraction value. You just changed its representation. So I'm, I'm not changing the answer here when I just multiply by square root of 5 times square root of 5, am I? It's still going to be an equivalent fraction. But 12 times square root of 5, you cannot multiply them. This is under a radical. This are um, a radical sign. This is not. This is a whole number. So my answer for this would be 12 square root of 5. But remember, we talked about this, ladies and gentlemen. When you have two numbers, radicals, you can multiply the radicands by each other. So square root of 5 times square root of 5 is square root of 5 times 5. Well, we talked about that. We have a square root of a pair of numbers, which is just going to be Anybody? Bueller? It's just going to be 5. Square root of a pair of numbers, right? 5 times 5 is 25. Square root of 25 is 5. Anybody have any questions? I got two more problems to do.